Welcome everyone to this video. In this video, I'll be telling you about the morph transition in PowerPoint, which is the best transition ever. So let's get started. So first, I'll be telling you about the basic morph. So let's go to layout, a blank layout, and then we can go to insert, shapes, and then pick any shape, for example, a rounded rectangle. And let's insert it like this. And this is just an example. You don't have to insert a shape only for morph. You can use anything like text, icons, 3D models. It's just your choice. This is just an example. So I've inserted the rounded rectangle. Now we can duplicate the slide. And then we can go to transitions and click on morph. So obviously it's not doing anything because we haven't changed anything on the second slide. So let's make this rectangle smaller like this and then let's adjust its roundness like this. Yes. And now we can put it somewhere around here. And now let's click on preview. So the so the rounded rectangle is morphing into this new rectangle so this is just a basic morph so now i'm going to be telling you about the advanced morph so let's go to a blank layout and again let's insert a rounded rectangle like this but now, in the second slide, instead of using this rounded rectangle, let's delete this and go to insert shapes and choose a triangle. So now the rounded rectangle has to morph into this triangle. Let's put it here. So now if we put transitions morph, you can obviously see it is not working it's just a fade animation no not animation transition so it's just a fade transition so so it's not working but there's a trick for it let's go to home arrange in selection pane and now we can select it and double click on its name so the trick is that both of the things that so the object and the thing that it's morphing into both of those things should have the same name and and there should be two exclamation marks before those names so let me show you so i'll just delete its name and just type in two hashtags and shapes and now i'll copy this name like this Control c and click on the triangle double click on its name and paste this name right here enter and now if we go to transitions preview you can see the rounded rectangle is beautifully morphing into this triangle so this is advanced morph so now i'll show you two examples where we can use the morph transition so the first example is let's go to insert text box and then we can type in any text for example brainy brothers our channel's name like this and then I can choose the font to be anything, for example, Monstrad Extra Bold. And the font size to be, let's say, 100. Y yes, the 100 works. So let me adjust this text box. And now I can just align it to the center of the text box. And now I can align it to the center of the slide and now we can have and now sorry 
and now we can duplicate this slide by Control D and then we can go to insert pictures this device and we can pick our logo right here and now I can decrease the size of, a lo of the logo a little bit and put it somewhere around here and now in the second slide I can just decrease the font size of this text for example 60 like this and put it like here and now if I go to transitions and more you can see the text is beautifully morphing into the smaller text but the logo is just fading in and the reason is because the logo wasn't on the first slide and how so how can it morph into the second slide because it wasn't on the first slide so to so to solve this issue let's just copy it paste it into the first slide zoom out and then click on shift to move anything in a straight line and click left click and move it downward like this and now if we go to the second slide and preview it you can see the text and the logos are beautifully morphing into the second slide this is the second example so let's go to a blank layout and now let's go to chrome and now this is a beautiful picture. Let's just download it by Sol Floors. Um, the link is in the video description if you want to use this exact photo. Let's just download it for free. And I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. Now let's close Chrome. And now we can go to insert pictures, this device, and downloads. And let's just pick this picture so now I can duplicate this slide so for example I want the audience attention to be on this walker so I can just go to transitions morph and now I can zoom out and just increase the size of the photo like this and put the walker in the middle of the slide like this and now if I preview it let me just go back to the current first slide yes so now if I preview it you can see it's zooming on the walker and now I can duplicate the first slide again and put it below the third slide like this and now if I go to slideshow you can see here we are zooming in to the walker and sorry yes we had to first apply the morph transition on the third slide as well I forgot that so now if we slideshow it you can see we're zooming in to the walker and now we're zooming out Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel because it would help us immensely. Brainy Brothers are signing up for now. Bye-bye. See you soon.